Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create drop user in MariaDB. Let's open our Linux box uh, and then we'll connect to the MariaDB by using our root user. So I will say mysql u root p, provide the password, and we are connected to the MariaDB. First of all, I would like to see all the existing uh, users uh, which are present in MySQL uh, database. Uh, so if I will say show databases, uh, it will show me all the databases. Uh, and these are system databases so you see mysql database here that's what we are going to use so we'll say use mysql and then the scope is changed now we'll say show tables and we are going to see all tables and one of them is user if i'll say select asterisk from user we'll see all the data present in this table hard to read so what we will do we will first get the definition of this table by using a describe table we'll say describe user and we can see the list of the columns in this uh, table uh, the most important for me right now are host and user i don't care about password and what privileges these uh, users have it so i'm going to select only the host so i will say host user from user so it will give us uh, the existing users uh, so you can see that the only root is the user available in this uh, uh, MariaDB as of now now first of all I'm gonna create a user without password uh, so let's say if I would like to create a user Amir so you create user and we put uh, colons around it so single quotes sorry, sorry and uh, single quotes around here and then say at the rate and then now uh, we provide the host uh, so I'm gonna call the local host we are all good here you see the syntax here so we say create user and then in single quotes uh, we provide the username uh, then we have to say at the rate and then uh, have to provide uh, the host uh, uh, name in single quotes uh, that's all now you, you guys notice that I didn't ask or provide any password uh, so it is going to create the user without password uh, so now Amir is created and if I exit from here and log in uh, back to uh, MariaDB so we'll say uh, mysql dash u and Amir so if you notice here it did not ask us any password and uh, we are able to log into MariaDB I can say show databases uh, and it will show the databases uh, but in this case Amir doesn't have whole lot permissions uh, so only it is able to see information schema database um, okay good now the now, uh, next part uh, we would like to create a user with password uh, so we'll say create user and in single quotes uh, so I'm gonna provide the name of the user called TB in single quotes uh, at the rate uh, and the single quotes localhost uh, and then uh, we'll say identified by and provide the password uh, I'm going to say password uh, let's say one two three that's uh, the password for us uh, uh, for user TB now uh, okay so one more thing uh, as we are logged in uh, by uh, with the username Amir that does not have privilege to create this uh, user so we have to exit from here come back with the our root uh, username so mysql dash u root dash p and now let me make this screen in the middle so you can see better okay provide the password for the root and now we are connected with the root we can create a, I can copy this uh, statement actually from here just copy select it and uh, right click uh, here so it will uh, uh, execute for us uh, so create user TB uh, at the rate whole localhost identify by password one two three that is created now if I will say select uh, let me do it so select host comma user from mysql dot user so you can write in this way as well like provide the database name and then provide the table name and the, that will give us information and you can see that we have user Amir and we have user TB okay great now we exit from here and then we connect to MariaDB by using a our user tb and the dash if let's say if i don't provide the password here it's going to say oh you did not provide the password we cannot let you log in here so we have to type a dash p and that will prompt us for the password so now i will be able to provide the password here 
okay great we are logged in now by with the user tb now if we say show databases as it doesn't have a lot of permissions uh, so it's going to only show us uh, information schema now if i want to drop uh, these users uh, what i have to do i have to exit from here because these user doesn't have any uh, permissions uh, so i cannot really drop like i logged in with the tb i cannot drop user amir here uh, so i have to exit from here logged in with the root uh, and then i can drop these uh, users uh, so let me log in with the root okay mysql dash u root dash p we missed the u and uh, that's why we could not log in now we logged in uh, and we are going to drop this uh, user so drop user is very easy you say drop user and then uh, same thing single quotes uh, let's say we want to drop amir and single quotes around it at the rate and single quote and local host so host name and the, that's it so you see that uh, it is uh, it, uh, the user Amir has it dropped if you want to check it you can go ahead and say select host comma user from mysql dot user and you can see that uh, mysql I am really typing totally wrong databases okay now it's all good okay if I would like to drop uh, the TB user so I will say drop uh, user and then single quote TB and then uh, single quote at the rate uh, and then provide the host name so local host and uh, that's it now this uh, user is dropped as well uh, so with the uh, up uh, arrow key I can uh, 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 bring these uh, uh, statements uh, so we can go to back to the history and I can run this statement uh, and you can see that uh, TB user is gone uh, so only root is left uh, so that's how you will create uh, the users in MariaDB and uh, drop the users in MariaDB uh, thanks for watching this video I hope it will help uh, subscribe if you like uh, I will see you guys in the next video where we will grant some uh, permissions to these users uh, to, do, to do different uh, tasks um, Thanks, bye.